Okay, a sixth example says um, we are giving X represents the number of tires with low air pressure on a randomly chosen car. The probability distribution is as follows. Find the probability of 1. Well, the probability of 1 is just 0.2. It's right there. Uh, probability of more than 2. More than 2 is going to be 3 and 4, so you're going to go 0.2 plus 0.1 and for that one you're going to get 0.3. Find the probability that all four tires have low pressure. All four is just this, so it's 0.1. Find the probability that no tires. No tires would be that one, so that's also 0.1. Compute the mean. Okay, so the mean of x is going to be the sum of x times p of x. So I'm going to take the x times the p of x, that's the zero case, 1 times 0 0.2, 2 times 0 0.4, plus 3 times 0 0.2, plus 4 times 0 0.1. So I'm taking 0 times 0 0.1, 1 times 0 0.2, 2 times 0 0.4, 3 times 0 0.2, 4 times 0 0.1. So this is going to be equal to 0 plus 0.2 plus 0.8 plus 0.6 plus 0.4, which is equal to a 2. So that's the mean. Now I need to find the standard deviation. Standard deviation, again, this is that second formula that I said I was going to use. First I have to find the variance, so it's going to be the sum of x squared times p of x and then I subtract out the mean squared. So x squared means I take 0 squared and I multiply it by p of x. Then I take the 1 squared, multiply that by p of x. Then I take the 2 squared, multiply that by p of x. 3 squared times p of x and 4 squared times p of x, and I'm going to subtract out the mean, here's the mean right here, and square it. So 0 squared is 0 times 0 0.1, that's still 0. The 1 squared is 1 times 0 0.2, that's 0 0.2. This is going to be uh, 4 times 0 0.4, this is 9 times 0 0.2, and 4 squared is 16 times 0 0.1, and I subtract 4, 2 squared is 4. So 0 plus 0.2 plus 1.6 plus 1.8 plus 1.6 minus 4. So from that, I am going to get, uh, again, adding this all up, I'm going to get 5.2 minus 4, which is a 1.2. That's the variance. Now to get the standard deviation, the standard deviation is going to be the square root of the variance. So I just take the square root of 1.2 and that's going to equal 1.095. So that's that problem. Here's another one. Uh, the World Cup. Let's see what they want here. Uh, construct the probability distribution of x. All right, so for this one here, we have to set it up. Um, we know the frequency. There's 20 of them. So if I want the probability of x, I'm going to go 4 divided by 20 for this one. This is also 4 divided by 20. This is going to be 7 divided by 20. 4 divided by 20. And this is 1 divided by 20. So I'm going to get 0.2. This is another 0.2. 7 divided by 20 is 0.35. 4 divided by 20 is 0.2 again. 0 0.20 if you want to put those. And 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. So I took the total frequency and each number divided by the total. So that's constructing the probability distribution. Um, find the probability that three goals were scored. Let's see, three goals, it was the 7 over 20, so that's 0.35.
find the probability that fewer than four goals were scored. So fewer than four is going to be three, two, and one. So it's going to be these three added up. So it's going to be 0.35 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.20. And for that one, I'm going to get 0 0.75. Compute the mean and compute the standard deviation. All right, so again, I have to do the mean is x times p of x. So I'm going to go, I'm using all these numbers here, and these are my p of x's. So I'm going to do 1 times 0 0.2, 0 plus 2 times 0 0.20 plus 3 times 0 0.35 plus 4 times 0 0.20 plus 5 times 0 0.05. So the mean of x is going to be 0 0.20 plus 0 0.40 plus 1.05 plus 0 0.80 plus 0 0.25, and I get 2.7. That's my mean. Uh, compute the standard deviation. So first I need to get the variance. So I'm going to square each mean and multiply by p of x. So 1 squared times 0.2. I'm going to square the 2, multiply that by 0 0.20. I'm going to square the 3, multiply that by 0.35. I'm going to square the 4, multiply that by 0 0.20. And I'm going to square the 5, multiply that by 0 0.05. And I'm going to subtract out the mean squared. All right, so this is going to be 1 squared is 1, so that's 0 0.20 plus 4 times 0 0.20 plus 9 times 0 0.35, plus 16 times 0 0.20, plus 25 times 0 0.05, and subtract out 7.29, so 2.7 squared is 7.29. So then I have 0 0.20, plus 0 0.80, plus 3.15, plus 3.2, plus 1.25 minus 7.29. And this comes out to 8.6 minus 7.29, which is 1.31. So the variance is 1.31. So the standard deviation is the square root of 1.31, which is one point. One four four six. All right, compute the mean and standard deviation of the random selected variables. All right, so again, the mean is going to be x times p of x, so 1 times 0 0.42 plus 2 times 0 0.18 plus 5 times 0 0.34 plus 7 times 0 0.06. So this is going to be 0.42 plus 0.36 plus 5 times 0.34. So all I'm doing is adding these up, 1.7, and then 7 times 0.06. I'll do one more. 7 times 0.06 is 0.42. So when I add uh, all of these up, I get 2.9. That's the mean. All right, so if I'm going to get the variance, I'm going to square the x. So it's 1 squared times 0.42. 2 squared, 0 0.18, plus 5 squared, 0.34, plus 7 squared, times 0 0.06. So this is going to be 0 0.42, plus 4 times 0 0.18, plus 25 times 0 0.34, plus 49 times 0 0.06. And I have to subtract out the mean squared. So 2.9 squared is 8.41. 
So this is going to be 0.42 plus 0.72 plus 8.5 plus 2.94 minus 8.41 so I get 4.17 that's the variance so the standard deviation is the square root of the variance so I take the square root of 4.17 and that gives me This one is for expected value. In the game of craps, two die are rolled and people bet on the outcomes. For example, you can bet one dollar that the dice will total seven. The probability that you win is one-sixth. And if you win, your profit is $4. If you lose, uh, you lose a buck. What's the expected value of your profit? Is it an expected gain or expected loss? All right, so winning has 1 over 6. So that means losing is 5 over 6. So they have to add up to 1. So if your, your probability is 1 over 6 to win, then the losing is 5 over 6. So you win $4.00. Uh, with the expected value and you lose a dollar with the probability of that. So this is going to be 4 over 6 minus 5 over 6. Again, multiplying fractions, this would be 4 over 1 times 1 6, which is 4 6. This is 1 over 1 times 5 6, which is 5 6. So 4 6 minus 5 6 is a minus 1 6. If I convert that to decimal, it's a 0.17 negative, so I will lose or a loss of uh, 17 cents. So uh, you don't, if you say the word loss, you don't necessarily need the negative sign, uh, but if you're not using the word loss, you have to show it with the negative sign.